Hey, you! What? You are now something really cool! Not really. No one cares! Is that something Repetium! So, Repetium has a symbol RB. So, it starts with R and U. It should have been RU, right? No! It was already taking my transition metal with the and it falls in the same barrier! Anyways, uh, Repetium has a top number 37, thus having 37 electrons and 37 protons. <laughs> its mass number is 85.475, basically. Having a number like that means it has 48 neutrons. Cool. You can find this element in Group 1A, aka the group of alkali alkali metals. Oh hey! I forgot to mention that it has a electron configuration, a 37, because it the top number 37. So rubidium is a soft and ductile big shock solid. It's not like the solid state dies about two thirds of the ghost on table. So what does it look like? In color. Well, it's silver colored at very low temperatures. But it's not really silver because it's rebellion! Yeah! In very hot temperatures, it's dark red or crimson. Hmm. So let me show you a picture of what it physically looks like. Right now, you're probably asking yourself, So what? Why well, need it? What's the use in this world? I never heard of it! What? Let me level with you. Rubidium is a rare metal in common nature. Because when you expose the oxygen, it works full of light! You see, rubidium plays a very important role in the ideal of radiation. That's right, radiation. And I'm not talking about spider powers. Mm -hmm. Peace out, Atomic clocks, for those who don't know. Our clocks, which use electronic transition frequencies like microwave or UV. Unlike other clocks, they are very precise. These clocks are mostly powered by atomic gas cells or beams of radium isotopes. <laughs> Secondly, rubidium is useful for security technology. The photocells of rubidium are able to produce beams of lights for motion detectors. So, a swiper now swapping isn't working for you. Tom Cruise keeps sneaking to your stuff. Hey! This is for you. Thirdly, with the use of compounds, it can be used to give a purple explosion for fireworks. Purple explosion? Let's talk about the history. Rubidium was discovered by German scientists. Robert Bunsen and Gustav Kur... Kur... Kurtoff? Is that right? Yeah, I think so. There's another dude named Henry Enfield Roscoe who was involved in the discovery. Uh, but he's barely credited in research, so no one cares about him. <laughs> it was founded in Heidelberg, Germany, in 1861. Okay. So what can it go good with molecular oil? Overall, with Bidion can make electric compounds like fluorine, chlorine, and bromine. Which makes sense. These elements of group 7, aka halogens. Due to their 7th valence electron orbital, they can hook up with like, alkali metals, which have one valence electron. Pretty well! Rubidium initially goes well with the polyatomic ion sulfates. <laughs> Let us dive into the melting point, the boiling point of... Wait, what's the problem? So rubidium has a melting point of 39 degrees Celsius. But we're American, so that's about 102.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Boiling point, on the other hand, is roughly 18 times higher than its multi point. A whopping 688 degrees Celsius. 1270.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's. That's pretty much it. Maybe 
approve of the settlements with unreal praise. You can get yours today for 80 payments of $24.99. Can I go now? Fine. This message has been approved by yourself.